Hello, we are back again with another Conquest video. This time it's issues 15, 16, 17 and 18. So let's have a quick overview before I go into detail. So we've got our um, subscription gift. I will cover that in more detail. Afterwards, that's the poster. Issue 15, which comes with Biologus Putrefy and the Dice. Issue 16, which comes with the Space Marine Sprue. That's the Inceptors, the blah, 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 Hell Blasters, and the Intercessor Reinforcements. Issue 17, which came with our next Armoured Container. We've gone out of focus. And Issue 18 over here, which comes with our two extra paints and our new playmat. So without further ado, let's get on and take a closer look. So here we have our Space Marine Chapters free gift. It's a large poster. I think it's a, it's a bit bigger than A3, whatever size. Maybe it's A2, but it's not quite as big as I thought it was. It's not double-sided or anything. It's just... Um, showing you all of the Space Marine chapters, and there are quite a few. Many of them I have no idea. I've never heard of, but that is our free gift for this issue, so I will uh, stick that up on the wall, probably perhaps over there in that gap next to my other Conquest one. So here's issue 15, the Biologus Putrefier issue. The sprue here the standard um, Biologus Putrefier sprue. I've not made him yet. He's £15 at the Games Workshop website, so you do save £7 and a penny when you buy him with the magazine. There's our dice, bog standard. I've heard people say they're better quality. I've not even compared them, because to me, dice are dice. Let's get on with the issue. So learn about the Horus Heresy and more weapon rules in the game. So here's our profile for the Biologus Putrefier, which will go into our folder. Um, his Hyper Blight Grenades, his Injector Piston, information on the Horus Heresy. Obviously, I'm not going to um, read each page out loud to you, as a lot of people will be buying it to themselves. Some nice artwork, as always. The Assault on Ajax, which is our battle number eight. If you've been filing them correctly, you'll know what I mean by that over the page gives you some actual um actual photography of the of the models and up again at the top the biologus putrefier onto how to build him he's pretty easy to build he hasn't got many pieces he's only got let's check oh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten pieces i think so he's not hard to paint um spray him death guard green easy peasy go over the little bits you need to in a bad and black by now you should be getting quite familiar with what bit should be watch colour, retributor armour, same kind of places as always. Then we've got lead belcher, again, where you can probably guess you would put it. Shows us where to use the Agrax Earthshade, Null Oil, detailed guide as always, very useful. And then you'll have him looking in this state, hopefully, by the end. Shows you also where to use Bugman's Glow, so I don't know. No, yeah, sorry, the finished model is on the end of this page. I was jumping the gun, yeah. So it shows you where to use the Bugman's Glow. And this is what he should look like. He does look very good <coughs> so far. So, biological warfare in this tutorial mission number 14. The dull pop of blight grenade explosions echoes through the decks of the Honor of Ultramar, accompanied by the screams of the wounded, a biologus putrefier and the foul blight spawn are conducting foul experiments on fallen ultramarines. <gasps> Oh dear, sounds bad, but we've got the librarian and his uh, aggressors and intercessors to try and take care of those. We've got our other armor container, our first one set up as well. Basically, it's just about using the Biologus Putrefier, really. Um, pest Pestilential Explosion, Blight Racks, special rules and stuff for him. Then it gives us the profile of the Biologus Putrefier and the Foul 
Blight Spawn as well. Now I noticed when the foul Blight Spawn came out, it said he only has one wound, which I'm guessing was a printing mistake because it says he has four wounds, which I think is probably a lot more realistic than a special character only having a one single wound. Ugh, he's dead. So yeah, this is definitely right, and that must have been a printing error in the previous issue. Um, obviously that page comes out to go far away. Then we've got information on weapons, pistol weapons, assault weapons, heavy weapons, rapid fire weapons and grenades. And it tells you about each one in particular. They have special rules. Over the page, we've got weapon profile. It tells us about the weapon profiles as it lists all the kinds of weapons that those particular models can have, which is useful. And it tells you about strength type, range, armor penetration, damage, and abilities. Over the page, we've got Vectors of Disease, tutorial replay mission number 11, which involves the Biologus Putrefire and the Foul Blight Spawn again, three intercessors, three aggressors, and the librarians. So basically, the models that it said in the tutorial one. How to win this battle lasts for five rounds. Remove the Putrefire from play or remove the librarian from play. That's the ways to win. Gives you the special bits of rules to remember at the bottom. Um, mission briefing on the back, um, same page as always, and then on the back it tells us obviously our next issue 16 comes with the five space marines, and issue 17 comes with armored crate number two. Okay, so moving along to issue 16, the ultramarine reinforcement issue, one that I was quite looking forward to, if I'm perfectly honest. I think this one looked like it was going to be a really good issue and it comes with the sprues, the one Inceptor, the two Intercessors and the two Hellblasters giving you five Space Marines in this, is this issue. Two large bases, three of the smaller ones. In terms of retail value, Inceptors are £30 for three. So in reality, one Inceptor should be £10. Intercessors are £35 for 10, so that means two is worth £7.50, uh, seven, £7, sorry. Um, and the Hellblasters are also £35, so that's £7 for two. Now, I was told, I've not looked, but these are in the other box sets, these sprues apparently, No No Fear, and um, another one as well. And if you bought that, it does work out uh, slightly uh, cheaper than that, but... In reality, if you're looking at the individual price of one model, then you're getting £24 worth of models here, really. So this issue looked quite good anyway for me. However you look at it, getting five models in one issue for me is good as well. Different variety as well. The light's gone quite bright. Um, talks about our Inceptors. They're the new um, ones. Oh, the light's very annoying all of a sudden. Um, Inceptors. Moving along, it tells us about Bladewing Assault, more storyline stuff basically. It tells us about the war gear of the Inceptors. This will be Space Marine War Gear number four, if you're going to file it away properly. It tells you about the Inceptor War Gear data file, and these are actually proper pictures of them for once. And these kind of things, they have assault bolters, so they've got a different weapon, which is good. Tells us how to build all of our different ones. So there's three different kinds of models, Inceptors, Hellblasters, and Intercessors to build here. So it covers building the Intercessors. It should be quite straightforward. We've made Intercessors before. So these, they're not easy to build ones, but they are pretty straightforward. Moving along, it tells us how to build our Inceptor. He's a pretty cool model with his jump pack as, as well. So... He looks pretty nice. Moving along, it tells us how to build the Hellblasters. So these are the guys with the plasma guns. Very tasty. How to paint them. Same as always, spray them all blue to start with. Macragger blue. If you've got the spray like I have, it is much better to do it that way. Um, tells you where to paint the bad and, bad and black. Same place as always, really, for the Space Marines. Moving along, it tells us where to use our lead belcher on all three of the different model types where to use our retributor armor on each of them too straightforward where to use our agrax earth shade where to use our null oil again pretty um straightforward to follow this tutorial mission is called secure the fallen the biologus putrefier five plague marines 12 pox walkers against five intercessors two hellblasters and the single Inceptor. Now I'm assuming Hellblasters and Inceptors don't usually um, come in units of one or two. I'm pretty sure they need to be in 
larger units than that. I'm not 100% certain, but that's what I would imagine anyway. And it covers basically flying units because the Inceptors have got a movement of 10 and can fly. In, oh, in fact, we've got the data sheet for the Hellblaster unit. So it says a Hellblaster unit contains between two and four Hellblasters. So they only have to be two units. And okay, and it says down here, um, Inceptors, I can't get it to focus, only contain between one and two Inceptors. You can also include one sergeant. Okay, so a Hellblaster squad can be five if it's got a sergeant, and an Inceptor squad can be three if it's got a sergeant. So they can be fielded individually. I'm not sure if it's the same if you've got the official uh, like Space Marine book. Um, anyway, that's quite useful because then you can actually use them straight away. And it tells us, obviously, we'll get the canister, and then it talks us about our two paints, Rakarth Flesh, Mephiston Red, and we get a new playmat as well with issue number 18. Exciting. Okay, here we go, moving on to issue number 17. I'm not going to show you the crate, it's still down there on the floor because basically we've uh, seen those before. I don't really need to cover it again. It's exactly the same as the last one in terms of retail value. They're worth £10, we spoke about that before, so you saved £2 and a penny basically on this issue. And this is the Munitorum armoured container supposedly. The Chaos God Nurgle new deployment rules. So it tells us about the Chaos Gods, Factions 2 is the um, title in the corner. It tells us about Slanish, Nurgle, Corn, and Zinch. At the top, it tells us about Nurgle. So this is Factions 2.1. Obviously, most people will realize that um, Death Guard is very Nurgle orientated and related. The great and clean ones, they are the greater demon of Nurgle. I do know that from my uh, limited knowledge of Warhammer and Warhammer 40k up the top, we've got War Zones 1. So this is a different um, sort of information sheet that I don't think we've had any of before. The defense during Nurgle's invasion of Ultramar was three parts. The initial losses were the defenders of ground before the Death God onslaught and the recovery with the return of Primarch Gilliam. And finally, the seizing of the initiative with the Primarch's counterattacks along with the final battle. Okay. Um, sorry, my reading's not, not the best in the dark because of my poor eyesight. Anyway, that's another different kind of sheet. Moving along, it tells us about the invaders of Ultramar. All the different stuff on there. How to build the armor container. We know that. Blah, blah, blah. The difference is with this one, it's a uh, it's a, a Space Marine related one. So basically, if you've got the Macragga Blue Spray, you're away because you can spray that quick. If not, then you've got the painful job of painting it all blue. Mmm, fun. I don't think. Dry brushing with Mechanicus Standard Grey to bring out some of the detail, then using Lead Belcher on our bits, similar to the last one. Where to use Retributor Armor is in all the same places basically as the last container, otherwise this can just the difference is really that this container is blue. I do actually like the blue container slightly more. Here's the final one. It tells us to use some blood and black. Non oil tells us how to paint the ammunition crates. Basically they're exactly the same. Spray them Death Guard Green, then do the Retributor Armor. Go over that um, icon with the Agrax Earthshade and it's done. And we'll, uh, I guess we're still waiting for the issue where it shows us how to paint the canisters if you've not bothered painting them. Moving along, Fire Zone Secured, tutorial mission number 16, using the Blight Hall of five Plague Marines, 12 Poxwalks against five Intercessors, three Aggressors, the Primaris Librarian and the two Hellblasters. Tells us how we're gonna claim victory points in this battle as well. Variable missions is what it discusses with this tutorial. Here's our zones. What does it mean by that? In your game so far, we've given you set deployment points and objectives to use. In most games of Warhammer 40,000, you deploy your units inside a set deployment zone, giving you flexibility to play, place your units. You may also be able to place your own objectives with some limits. It has uh, 40k has dozens of different missions. 
They usually have players deploying their units inside a deployment zone. These deployment zones can be many different shapes and sizes. The most common method of deployment is to have a zone on each player's table edge. Players can normally deploy their units anywhere inside their own deployment zone. Some units have special rules to deploy outside of this zone or even off the table. So it's telling us about how to deploy our units and placing objectives if you want to have them in your games as well. That is it. There isn't any... Um, replay mission in this um, magazine actually saying that so moving along we know issue 18 comes with the paint and the mat issue 19 looks to be a pretty exciting issue as it comes with Lord Felthius and his I think they're Terminator friends so that is a good issue detailed guys new ways to deploy issue 19 looks like it will be a very nice issue Okay, finally, but not least of all, is issue number 18. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, it only comes with these two paints here, Mephiston Red and the um, Rakarth Flesh. They're only worth about 2 dollars each, so you're only getting a fiver there. So this magazine, you're probably thinking, isn't so good, but it does come with a new play mat, which is, in my opinion, better quality. It is also much bigger, which is the key thing here. I'll just make some space to show you how big this is. It is this kind of size. Take a step back. So, you know, we're talking, I would say, about two and a half feet by two feet maybe so it's a lot a lot bigger our original play mat is basically this kind of size so this is four times the size basically of our original play mat so that is good because as if you're like me I was thinking about doing my own getting a big piece of wood or something and painting it whereas that actually means I can use that for the time being. So that's actually quite good. So issue number 18 is about learning about the Silver Templars, adding the new paints to all of your models so far, which is a very good um, informative bit and the new play map, obviously. Moving along, it tells us about the Silver Templars, where they live, chapter name, Primark. And this comes under Space Marine chapters number three. Um, the chapter symbol. Silver Templars chapter organization and how they are um, set up. More information there on the Silver Templars. Space Marine Armory, and it talks about bolt weapons. So this goes into War Gear 5, so that's where we filed. It tells us this um, this booklet about the Hellblasters. So they're Space Marine Warriors number 4. The Hellblasters are obviously the ones that to use the plasma weapons. It does actually tell us about all of the different bolt weapons. We've got bolt rifles, bolt guns, storm bolter, heavy bolter, bolt pistol, assault bolter, and combi bolter. I don't actually know what a combi bolter is. What's a combi bolter? Combi bolters combine a bolt gun with another weapon, such as a plasma gun, allowing the bearer the flexibility to take on multiple types of targets. That's actually quite good. Didn't know about those. So I've learned something new. More information here. The Relief of Lycaeus, that's battle number nine. And adding details to your model. So these are all the models now that we're going to go over with um, Rakarth Fleth, Mephiston Red, and the other color, the Mechanicus Grey color as well. So literally it goes through all of them. It goes through the Librarian, the Reavers, the Intercessors, the Hellblasters, the Inceptor, up to the top, the Ingressors. Then it goes on to the Plague Marines, the Blight Hauler, um, foul blight spawn, biologus putrefier, and of course, lastly, oh, then it tells us about the Rakar flesh color um, on all of those models, all of those models, and at least the worst models till the end, the pox walkers. So yeah, that's good information there for painting on some more detail. And the tutorial mission this time is called Seize. How to win. Control the Death Guard objective, one victory point. Eliminate an enemy unit, one victory point. Control the Space Marines objective, two victory points. Control the Space Marine objective, and the vice versa, basically, for the Space Marines. 
Three Plague Marines, the Blight Hall of the Biologus Putrefire against five Intercessors, the Primaris Librarian, and two Hell Blasters for this issue. More information for that gives us the profile of the Mephitic Blight Hauler. The best unit that there is in the collection so far. I'm sure you're well aware of that. This is Death Card data sheet number three, by the way. And it shows us our brand new playmat. It also says, from issue number 21, the battles go planet side. So it's only going to use the tutorial sheet up until issue 20. The, the first playmat, I mean, sorry. And then after that, all the battles will be done on this bigger one. Because obviously you'll have quite a lot of models by then. Conquest continues on the smog shrouded surface of Corvon 2. So it's going to move to a different area in the 40k universe. And we already know Feltius in issue 20 comes with our final um, armored container. So basically that's it for this, this series of magazines. These four magazines were done on these. Hopefully you've liked it and I've helped you out with information and how good each issue is any comments or anything leave them below and i will be back when i get my next four issues in four weeks time thanks for watching an important thing i missed out from my um, review was the fact that you get a letter and it basically says you've been automatically subscribed to an additional art book for the price of 14.99 and unless you phone or email to cancel, you will automatically be charged $14.99 and sent a Warhammer 40,000 art book. Now, obviously, if you're like me and you're not really interested in that, you need to phone up and cancel it or email them to cancel it. So you need to phone 0333-300-1045 or email them at conquest at jacklinservice.com with your subscription number to cancel it. So that is something I need to do. And I just need to point that out in case people have opened up their subscriptions and this letter was with your normal piece of paper that says what's been dispatched. So if you've not looked at that, then you might have missed this out. You might end up getting charged $14.99 for something you don't necessarily want. Obviously, there'll be lots of people who do, but I am someone who does not. So bear this in mind. When you get your delivery, check this letter. And if you don't want it, you do need to cancel.